Hello, I am Dr. Sayyid Atal Munim. I am doing my Master's of Science in Public Health from Health Services Academy. I'm a medical doctor by profession. Uh, the topic which I am going to present is my research uh, article, uh, title of which is Comparative Analysis of mRNA and Inactivated Form of Vaccines, uh, a study from District Faisalabad, which is uh, located in Pakistan. So I'm going to share my screen. So as you can see the topic on the title of my study was comparative analysis of mRNA and inactivated COVID-19 vaccines. Uh, this study is from Faisalabad, which is a district, a third largest district of Pakistan. A brief introduction. Uh, as you all know that uh, COVID-19 uh, was uh, uh, announced as a, a pandemic by WHO. And till the start of this pandemic, more than 520 million people uh, have been affected globally. And uh, around 6 million people have lost their lives globally. Uh, Southeast Asia, uh, uh, over 58 million cases have been reported and 0.78 million cases have uh, uh, been uh, reported as death cases due to COVID-19. In Pakistan, uh, over 1.5 million cases have been reported till now and around 30,000 or more uh, lives have been lost due to this pandemic. Now, many non-pharmaceutical uh, interventions uh, have been implemented during that pandemic time, but most of the time uh, the vaccination campaigns were run over all over the country in Pakistan. Uh, and uh, due to these mass vaccination campaign, Pakistan has achieved uh, vaccination uh, target of uh, 122 million people. Uh, and the vaccines mostly used were the Sinopharm, Sinovac, CanSino, Pfizer and Moderna. Uh, which were used during for this mass vaccination campaigns. If we see the data, we will see that mostly the two forms of vaccines were most commonly used, uh, which were inactivated type of vaccine, which used uh, an inactivated virus uh, for, to uh, transport the vaccine, uh, which were Sinopharm and Sinovac, and the other types were uh, mRNA type, which were uh, Pfizer and Moderna. Uh, that were used to vaccinate uh, masses in uh, government uh, by the government of Pakistan. <clears throat> now, the objective of my study was to compare uh, these two types of vaccines to see uh, uh, to compare their effectiveness against the unvaccinated individuals and to see which form of this uh, vaccine is more effective or efficacious uh, during the time frame when. Uh, Delta and Omicron uh, viruses were prevalent in District Faisalabad. The study design was the case control study design in which the cases were labeled as PCR positive uh, for COVID-19 and controls were the negative uh, PCR results, uh, patients or individuals who were having negative PCR. Duration of the study was almost uh, nine months, which started from 15th July 2021 and it, it ended at uh, 31st March uh 2022 it was not uh, it was around nine months uh, study period uh, the data was mainly the secondary data uh, which we collected from the covid 19 dashboard uh, from uh, a proper authorization of the district disease surveillance and response unit of Faisalabad. Uh, also we utilized the data from nadra immunization management system for to confirm the vaccination status of the patients we included all the individuals, male, females, who were age, having age more than 12 years, and uh, all individuals who were uh, fully vaccinated with inactivated or mRNA type of vaccines were included. Partially vaccinated individuals and the individuals vaccinated with other forms of vaccines like AstraZeneca, Sputnik, Johnson and Johnson were excluded. Uh, also, the asymptomatic COVID-19 individuals were also in, excluded from the study, and those individuals who have received booster doses were also excluded from the study. We applied chi-scare test and Fisher exact test 
uh, to find out the risk estimate that is the odds ratio and uh, independent t test was uh, utilized to uh, compare the mean recovery time in both uh, the inactivated form vaccinated individuals and mrna vaccinated individuals now the results show that both vaccines uh, both type of vaccines were equally effective uh, in preventing hospitalization and mortality due to covid-19 uh, and we could not find any significant difference in these groups. Uh, but in detailed analysis, if we see the recovery period, we find out that mRNA form of vaccines showed a recovery period of 4.9 days uh, with standard deviation of 5.59 as compared to inactivated form uh, of vaccine, which showed recovery period of 5.7 days plus minus standard deviation 6.77. This shows that those individuals who were vaccinated with mRNA uh, type of vaccine recovered earlier, at least one day, uh, as compared to those who were vaccinated with inactivated form of vaccine. And this uh, difference was found to be significant on independent t-test. The p-value uh, was found to be 0 0.007, as we were using uh, significant uh, of the significance of 0 0.05. If we go into the discussion, we find out that age, uh, we find in our study that age was a significant variable that actually determined the course of the disease after COVID-19. This was the similar finding by Koi et al, uh, who find out that mortality and length of hospital stay increased uh, with increasing age and 18% mortality was found in patients having age uh, 70 and above. Um, the findings which were not uh, similar to uh, our uh, study, we, we find out that Sinovac, Sinopharm and mRNA form of vaccines were equally effective in preventing hospitalization and mortality. But in uh, another study which was done by Premika et al, it showed that uh, those individuals who were vaccinated with Sinopharm and Sinovac vaccines were 2.37 and 1.6 times uh, more prone to uh, develop COVID-19 as compared to those who were uh, vaccinated with Pfizer vaccine. These findings are, again, uh, not similar to that of our findings. We, fi we find out that both vaccines were uh, similar in their efficacy. Further, we observed that the patient who received mRNA type of vaccines had significant early recovery as compared to the inactivated form of vaccine. This finding uh, has been reported by Thompson et al, who reported that uh, those patients who have mRNA type of vaccine uh, have less viral load, uh, that is 40% less, and shorter duration of illness uh, with 2.3 uh, days less spent on bed uh, or on hospital bed as compared to unvaccinated vaccine and unvaccinated individuals. So we concluded that both mRNA and inactivated form of vaccines are highly effective in preventing hospitalization and death. But uh, after six months of vaccination, the difference, there is no difference between uh, in protection from symptomatic disease due to COVID-19 between vaccinated and unvaccinated individuals. So we recommend that it is necessary to get a booster dose to enhance your uh, immunity level. As our individuals who were uh, having vaccination uh, for uh, more than six months of uh, time, uh, we didn't find any difference between vaccinated and unvaccinated individuals. So we recommend that uh, booster dose should be taken. Thank you very much. This was the end of my uh, slideshow. Uh, I want to like to thank uh, International uh, Conference of for Biomed to giving me this for giving me this platform to present my paper to you. Thank you very much.